everybody. Welcome to the May-June 1975 issue of World Harvest Magazine. And uh, on the cover of this issue, he announces the opening of the World Harvest Bible College. Now, the building had been there for several years at this time, and they were doing something called the World Harvest School of evangelism there, where they were having seminars and different things like that. But here he announces the opening of the actual Bible college. Now they were in operation for, started in 75 until I think about 2005, right around there that the World Harvest Bible College actually ceased. Now of course you can still download the study guides, the syllabuses, from the DrLesterSummerall.com website, and I have some available on the Brother Summerall Said channel, which are not available there. But this announces the opening of it in this issue. Now, the main featured article in this particular issue is right inside the front cover, and it goes for five pages. It's page two, three, four, and five, and it's called Every Man a King. Okay, and Brother Summerall just talks about the authority that we have in Christ. And if any of you knew him, you'd know that Brother Summerall was very assertive. <laughs> he had a way of going into a situation and moving things uh, in whatever way that the Lord told them to be done. And things got done. Uh, he was very positive. Um, he never looked at the bad side of anything at all. And the different things that he touches on in this article is he talks about dominion, which later on he wrote a book called Dominion. Now that has grown into a whole theology now, dominion theology. This is not what that was. He talked about how um, the Lord gave Adam dominion in the beginning, you know, over all the animals and over all creation, all right? And he talks about how in Christ Jesus, we can move in this authority. And without that, if we're involved in different types of sin and things like that, then we don't have that authority, you know? Even if we think that we're great and can get things accomplished, we don't have the type of authority that he's talking about here, or that scripture talks about. And it's just really an excellent sermon. And it's a very long one. It's longer than most of the sermons that he puts in these magazines. But yeah, it's just fantastic, and I highly recommend it. It's called Every Man a King. And the closest book that he had to this probably would have been the Dominion book, which came out a few years after this. Then on page 6 and 7, he has the announcement that he talks about on the cover. World Harvest Bible College opens its doors. He's got a few pictures here, and he talks a little bit about it. The picture there of the group of people standing outside of Houchins Hall, which is where the Bible College was on the Christian Center grounds there. This picture here is actually from 1971. All right. But then there's some pictures at the top there of one of the students' dorms and the lobby, actually. I remember going in there, all the Sunday schools were held in that building, in the Houchins Hall. So I always used to go in there for Sunday school when I was a kid. Then on the centerfold of the magazine, on page 8 and 9, he talks about some upcoming things going on at Christian Center. And it says, New Life Convocation, right at the top. And I think that referred to the camp meeting. And he calls it the 10th annual indoor camp meeting. Because in times past, he had the camp meetings actually in a very large tent. 
But these were right there on the church property. And that was going to run from July 13th through the 20th that year. And then he announces a meeting with Norval Hayes uh, called the Youth Advance. Some of you may remember Norval Hayes, and he came there in the month of June, June 22nd through the 25th, it says. On page 10 is a report from the missionaries that we had up in Alaska, Glenn and Dorothy Johnson, and it's called Miracles in Alaska, all right? And there's a pretty interesting story there about a moose. It has to do with moose hunting, all right? On page 12, then, he has an article called Television, the Most Compelling Power Man Ever Knew. And this article is written by Brother Summerall. It's not a real big article, but it says, Television has the power to save or damn the nation. All right? And he's got some pictures here. There's a picture of him sitting here with the First Lady of Indiana. Her husband was the governor at that time, Otis Bowen. And Brother Sumrall interviewed the wife of the governor there on his television show. Then there's a picture of Brother Sumrall here sitting on the set of the television show with Brother Murphy, who was his brother-in-law. Brother Murphy was assistant pastor, and he was the husband of Brother Sumrall's sister, Leona Sumrall Murphy. And he was kind of like Brother Sumrall's right-hand man, you know? For years and years, at least for as far back as I can remember, you know. Brother Murphy actually served in my parents' wedding when they were married at the church there. And uh, Brother Sumrall performed the ceremony. That was back in 1959. That was at the old church at Calvary Temple. There's an interesting article here about a man from our church named Bill Bradbury. He had been written about before in some of the previous issues. Uh, him and his brothers owned a contracting business in the area here. And the article's called A Layman and World Revival. And he was also a missionary, and it tells here about some of the things that happened during his missionary work down in Peru, South America. And just like every week, there is a PDF download in the description box underneath this video. And I hope you'll all enjoy it. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, I thank you for this time together with my friends. I ask that these resources would bless your people in a special way, just as much today as it did back in 1975. Lord, I give you all the glory for all of these efforts. In Jesus' name, amen. All righty. Well, I love you all, and I'll see you in a few days. We're winding up the book of Deuteronomy. We're in Deuteronomy chapter 32, which is actually the song that the Lord told Moses to write and to recite before the people. Kind of a long chapter, but it's a very, very good one. We'll be getting into that at the beginning of the week. I love y'all, and I'll see you later. Bye. Oh, yes, we do.